this is Greff and Greg Space Shed. Here's my review of a CEB3 Boss Chorus pedal. This is a really fantastic pedal that always has a place on my pedal board. Like all the Boss pedals, it's really well built and robust so it'll last you a long time. First of all, I'll explain a bit about the settings on the pedal and then I'll play my bass for it so you can really hear what the pedal's capable of. First thing to note about the pedal is you can run it in mono or stereo, so if you want you could run the signal to two amps. The first knob we've got is level, and this controls how much of the chorus effects comes through with your dry sound. So you turn clockwise to add more chorus effect. Then we've got a low filter, and this is a really useful control on the boss chorus. If you want, you can just add chorus to your upper frequencies. If you turn the knob anti-clockwise, you cut the chorus effect to the bass frequencies, adding chorus just to the high frequencies. So this is really useful if you want to maintain your bass tone, um, but add chorus at the same time. Then we've got rate, which controls the speed of the chorus modulation. Last of all, we've got depth, which controls the width of the waveform. So I'm now going to play through the pedal, giving you all the different settings. And I'll put a picture of the pedal up on the screen so you can see which setting I'm using at that time. This is with no chorus. This is with all the settings at 12 o'clock. This is with the level all the way clockwise, so we've got full chorus effect. I've put the level back at 12 o'clock and now I've turned the low filter right round um, anti-clockwise so that should be cutting everything from the bass frequencies. Now I've got the low filter all the way to the right so we're putting chorus on lows and highs. really hear some chorus on the low notes now. Now I've put the rate all the way to the left. So the chorus effect is moving more slowly there. Now rate is all the way over to the right. So the chorus effect is going very fast, the modulation. Uh, that's a bit too much for me, but you can really hear how much you can add if you want. And then the depth is all the way over to the left. And then the depth all the way to the right. Well, that should give you enough to hear what the pedal is capable of. You've got lots of options on the pedal to get the specific chorus that you're after. For me, the real sell of this pedal is the low filter option. Hope you liked the review. If you did, please like and share it, and leave a comment below and let me know what you think of the pedal. I'd love to hear how it compares with different brands of chorus pedals that you might have. You can see more of my gear reviews and bass lessons here on my Greg's Bass Shed YouTube channel, or head over to my website, gregsbassshed.com, where I've got more videos and more free bass resources. This is Greff from Greg's Bass Shed. See you in the next video.